Do you miss playing Dungeons and Dragons or just have a hard time finding a group in your hometown? Maybe you just wish you could play more. On Discord, we created a community of over 100 people who are playing D&D around the clock. By integrating Discord and D&D Beyond, we're able to provide an immersive experience that is the first of its kind. You can create a character from 1st to 15th level and then roleplay 24-7 in our Discord channels while combating monsters, crafting weapons, training new skills, and searching for items across our campaign world. You'll also have the chance to participate in random combat encounters and go on monthly virtual quests. Ever wanted to try your hand at being a dungeon master? Or maybe you're an experienced dungeon master and just want the chance to run more adventures. As a community DM, you can run encounters and virtual quests for the community based on monthly modules written by our very own accomplished plot team. Join us. Join us. Check it out. Join the Discord. Join us. Join us. And let's create incredible stories together.
Hey everyone, welcome to episode eight of Into the Mist, season five, uh, our official Curse of Straw campaign. Um, Want to get through a bunch of quick announcements and then um, we will get right to the action, so just bear with us. Of course, first we want to thank Dungeons and Dragons woo, for creating this awesome game that we know and love and have enjoyed for many, many, many years. Uh, also want to thank our first channel sponsor, World Anvil. They have a an amazing service online for creating narrative and worlds and interactive maps and all of that wonderful stuff that comes with uh, world building. Uh, check them out at worldanvil.com. And if you become a patron on our Patreon, you will get co-author access in our world to add your own story as a member of the Discord to uh, our world. So you can check it out there and become a patron and all of that wonderful stuff. Um, Forged Gaming is our other channel sponsor. Awesome Forged Gaming has always been really, really wonderful for us. Um, and they have created official Into the Mist dice. You can check them out at forgedgaming.com slash Into the Mist. They're amazing black like skull, skeletal dice, uh, and they're hollow like these wonderful dice that roll two natural 20s against you guys last episode. Uh, and they come in a branded uh, Into the Mist uh, kind of coffin case, um, a full leather coffin case, which is really super cool with the logo on it. Uh, check them out um, again, forgedgaming.com slash realmsmith or slash into the mist, and you'll see all the wonderful stuff we've done together. Also, want to thank Sirenscape, our third channel sponsor. Of course, we use Sirenscape which is an online tool for adding sound effects and ambiance to your tabletop RPG experiences. Um, and we are using it right now and we use it in all of our sessions. So thank you to Sirenscape. Also want to thank our series sponsors. The first is Beetle and Grimm's. Beetle and Grimm's has this amazing uh, service that creates and offers boxed, like epic edition, box sets for your D&D 5e campaigns. We're using Curse of Strahd uh, in this, and we're also using um, Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft as well with all of the fun stuff. I mean, Adam has a uh, holy symbol of Ravenkind that is probably blurry at that, <laughs> at that depth, but uh, it is super awesome. They oh, have wow, handouts and they have a ton of maps and, and creatures and item cards and all of that fun stuff. So check them out. Uh, they are fantastic people, and we love Beetle and Grimm, and thank you so much for sponsoring us. As well, we'd like to thank Lynn Vander Studios um, for sponsoring us as one of our title sponsors. Uh, of course, that is Tommy's company, and they uh, create awesome games, as well as a 5e supplement called Legacy of Mana, which his character is actually out of, which is this book right here. It's all fun, it's really cool, and all of the time-barred stuff that you're seeing in the game actually comes from that book, so check them out. And we are filming in the Six Sides of Gaming studio, which is also Tommy's studio, so thank you for hosting us right. Thanks, uh, so very much. Yay. Thanks, guys. Also want to thank, for the second week in a row, our episode sponsor, Stat Trackers. Uh, they are from Top Dog Games. Uh, you can check them out at Top Dog topdoggames.net uh, and you can use the code realmsmith to get 10% off site-wide. Right now they just released um, Friends and Foes which is two, a, a collection of 250 NPCs and monsters for your 5e games. Uh, they're really great. They come in cards like this which are double-sided. You can't see that too long. <laughs> um, and this is the Doom Knight that we are currently facing or some of our party is currently facing. Yeah. They're really cool. The trackers kind of go around and they create awesome like tactile gaming supplies uh, and gaming uh, items um, for your tabletop this is the friends and foes uh, core collection one set it has all of 250 NPCs and monsters in this uh, on its own and they have uh, DM screens and stuff uh, and if you enter stat tracker one word into the chat you will get entered into a uh, win a box set plus a dm screen signed by artist mike Fi, um who illustrated all of the dm screen stuff and a lot of the monsters so enter that and then we will reach out to you if you are a winner of that giveaway for stat tracker thank you so much they also release these fun little packs our players haven't got any but they're little shrooms uh, with potion effects and so they have their little like stone uh, mushrooms that are in a bag and they're different colors and then the back tells you what the effects are of those things if you have them uh, you may see them in play soon who knows also okay <laughs> if you're interested in joining our uh, patreon you can do so and then whatever tier you get 
in at. You can also join our Discord server, which is a 24 seven role play server where you play the inhabitants of Barovia in and around the party. Um, and just recently the party um, visited New Berez, which is currently where our Discord lives. And the Discord actually created and crafted weapons that they are now using in game. It's a super cool, interactive, um, interwoven experience, which we're very proud of. And we just launched the War for Barovia, um, which is a awesome strategic kind of war simulation uh, for our server. And the way to gain ground and uh, unlock certain areas in the map is to do quests and modules run by our community DMs and the results of your quests and the, and the encounters and the things that you do in the server will affect the end game of our campaign. And so if you want to affect stuff, if you want to be canon, jump into our Discord and enjoy that. We also have merch, lots of it. We just uh, released a couple weeks ago. We released a bunch of new merch, including our new Amber Temple shirt. Check that out. A huge thanks to us Smith Guardians who create all of our content for our Discord server and our moderators of our universe, which we uh, are so indebted to and love them so very much. And of course, our Realm Watchers who keep our community safe. If you like what you see today, consider subscribing, sharing, and commenting. And without further ado, let us venture into the mists. <laughs> We are back. Last we left you all, it was not great. It wasn't looking great for the party. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, the split party uh, is in the dire straits uh, currently. Um, and we are gonna start off by going back to Roan and Sterling, who currently find themselves in a room with a vampire. Not dead yet. Um, and uh, Sterling has been uh, drained uh, fairly significantly already. Um, and you are currently in a tussle. Uh, when you entered this room, you met a vampire called Escher, who wanted to have a conversation and wanted to drink some wine, who attempted to charm you both. That didn't work. Rowan had enough of it and attacked. And we are in the midst of that. The, the moment the stream ended the last week, um, the vampire had said, oh, you do bleed and then went to go bite you again. So I'm gonna roll that attack currently. It's just delicious, I can't help it. You are delicious uh, with a 26. Oh my God. That's a hit. <laughs> uh, it's better than the just barely though. natural 20 last. Oh, I only rolled one. So that's only five piercing damage. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. You can't say those things. 14 necrotic, and that comes off the top of your- 14? 14. 14. Oh. Yeah, I had 440. T -E -N. Oh. T -E -E -N. I was like, I think it's a sound 14 tree. necrotic, <laughs> and that comes off your maximum. Okay, I'll add that. Or subtract it. See, so, now there's the conundrum, the maximum. <clears throat> but, yes. I, I'm, it's gonna hurt me personally too, just in the, <laughs> Okay, so. I, that hurts me actually, personally. <laughs> yeah, no, you no, said no. that. No, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> it's really a tech question. I still love you though, Brandon. Yeah. yeah, love you too, buddy. Okay, Rowan, you're up. 
Okay. Uh, so I am going to start with uh, my bonus action, and I'm going to use Big B's uh, hand. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. to use clench fist. Big B's hand. To, uh, punch at the vampire again. Okay. Bring it. Uh, that won't hit. That's okay. An Eleven. Yeah. <clears throat> However, for my action, yeah, I'm going to use Rollo Theme's psychic lance, and Ooh. you need to make a uh, intelligent saving throw with disadvantage. It's not nice. Disadvantage, delicious. Fail, seven. Okay, uh, so all of a sudden I unleash a shimmering force of psychic power from my forehead, uh, of course, appropriately colored to dark, uh, and it, it uh, unerringly goes towards Escher and strikes him. On the failed save, Escher will take 7d6 psychic damage and is incapacitated until the start of my next turn. Resistance. Okay, he'll still take that damage. Uh, actually, he'll take half damage. No, he, 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 he yeah, so half the damage. Yeah, yeah. So I'll roll. You're resisting the effect, right? You have yeah. some. Uh, well, he, he passes his saving throw. Yeah. So he's still. Metal, metal chip. Oh, uh, okay, well, I'll just do that. <laughs> it succeeded the saving throw, so it only gets oh, yeah. half the damage. Sorry. Is he also incapacitated still? Uh, well, with that resistance, he won't be incapacitated. But he will take the damage. Uh, he'll take half as yep. much damage. Yep. So we are at, that's 10, that's 16, that's 19, plus uh, that's 27. Yeah. Uh, that's halved. Half. That's halved. 27 so. is half? No, 27 okay. and then half. Okay. So 13, 13 or 14, yep, depending 13, on how you wrap yep. it. Okay. Got it. Nice. I'll end my turn there. Okay. And that's three. All right. Um, is Bigby's hand, does it take up space? That's a very good question. Let me read it for you. <clears throat> Or is it incorporeal? You get a large hand of shimmering translucent force in an unoccupied space that you can see within range. Uh, the hand is an object that has AC and hit points. Uh, the hand doesn't fill its space. Okay. All right. So he is going to move through Bigby's hand. Okay. Not provoking opportunity attacks for 5, 10, 15, 20 to behind Sterling. Not provoking opportunity Correct. attacks from anyone? Correct. Is that some so sort of special ability? Yes. Okay. It's holding the grapple? Yeah. So he comes around basically and continues the grapple from behind. Oh, so he's spooning me now. Yeah, yes, he's spooning me. <laughs> That's exactly. Big spoon. <clears throat> That's what they call it in college. Big spoon Big, 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 big spoon. Big spoon Uh Big, big spoon Escher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sterling, you're up. All right, well, I want to break out of this grapple. I uh, do have advantage on this because it is related to strength and I'm large. Yeah. Because I'm big sterling. I'm going to say uh, he's also, he's climbed you. So he climbed up and then has you like around the neck. That's how he's grappling you. That's just okay. the flavor. Then, but he's, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll... Sure, so you're going to try and break out of it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, that is acrobatics or it's... Um, athletics, whatever you want. I'm assuming you're gonna go athletics. Uh, acrobatics is more fun. Okay. Uh, and that's a plus seven anyway, so that's a 19. Ooh, that breaks it. Uh, yeah. As you break the grapple, he falls, you hear him land behind you. Yes, and acrobatically great, yeah. break the grapple. Yeah, I love so, it. I don't know if I do a backflip or something, but yeah. Uh, okay. It would be really cool. Sure. It just whatever everybody imagines. I'd say you could even cool. spin out of it. Carson flip. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, totally. Exactly. All right, do you have any other actions that um, else you want to do? Yeah, that's one action, right? Uh -huh. I still want to hit him, so I'm going to use my action surge. Okay. Um, All right, buddy. Yeah, because I'm mad at him. You're mad at him. He's angered me. Angered me deeply. Okay, so uh, 21 and 18 to hit. Those are both hits? Yes. Excellent. Nice. Okay, six. Yeah, so that's nine plus three, that's 12. Okay. Uh, points of magical damage. 
including my big sterling damage. Got it. Yeah. Woo! And that's seven points of damage on the second one. And that's with your sword, so you kind of turn around and yeah, start hacking ma at him? Magical slashing. So yeah, and you you start opening these massive gashes, and he's, he you can see his eyes go slightly wide as you can tell that he's bloody. Excellent. Excellent. And and the closest thing to a Warforged smile I can get, I'm just happy. I'm in my element. I love it. Yeah. After your turn, you watch as some of those wounds close up. Mm -hmm. As he heals back a little bit, and then he is going to... Um... <coughs> Excuse me. He looks up at you and he says... All I wanted to do was have a drink and a conversation. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Okay. They haven't known them ever around. But not resistances. 17. Oh. Ooh. You pass. Well, then you should stop playing mind tricks with us. Your hound goes. So this one, because it is this one, is going to run around and end up right in this area, sort of leaping in the space beside the bookshelf and the uh, floor and leap right for his throat and is going to attack. Uh, that's 23. Yeah. To hit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a deck save for trip. And it will do seven piercing and you need to make a strength saving throw uh, with disadvantage, 13, DC 13. And why is it a uh, disadvantage? Because the hound's right beside it and it gets disadvantage on saving throw as well. Right. The hound is beside it. It's awesome. Yeah, it's super cool. That's a uh, 12. So it fails. He's uh, he's now prone. Okay. Knock him down. Okay, he's going to get up with half of his movement from uh, his legendary action. You can bring him back up. Uh, and then he's going to use the rest of the movement, not provoking opportunity attacks, to move. Uh, he's going to run to the wall. Whereabouts? Um, Here? Like away yeah. from everyone? Yeah. Yeah. There. No opportunity attacks. No opportunity attacks. And he's going to stay right there for a minute. Uh, it's your turn. Uh, mine. Yep. What about my other hound? Uh, he goes after you. One goes before you, one goes after okay. you. Uh, so I will uh, use my bonus action uh, to make my hand of darkness, my big beast hand of darkness, go right over here. Yeah, flavor. Yeah. And. Uh, and he's going to attempt to, uh, I'm going to attempt to punch him with the bonus action. Uh, and that would be a 21. That's a hit. Okay. And that will deal a goodly amount of damage. That would be 4d8. Wow. Let's steal your d8s. Mm -hmm. Six. Not, not that great. There we go. Uh, 14. 19 force damage. Ooh. Got it. Yeah. Uh, and then he is using, bloodied again. Yeah. Uh, using my uh, main, um, my spell slot, rather, uh, I am going to attempt to uh, use a, another psychic glance. Uh, yep. He needs to roll a saving throw. Uh, intelligence saving throw 17. He, uh, actually, I rescind that. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to use that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Okay. Here's what I'll do instead. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tw use a sorcery point to twin my spell. And okay. I'm going to shoot two Eldritch Blasts at him. Okay. Uh, one hits and one for sure hits and one does 14, is a 14 attack. 14 does not hit. Okay. So, get 
two of these bad boys. Four. Uh, for a total of 10, um, 10 force damage. Okay, got it. Nicely done. And I'll end my turn there. Okay, all right. No, hey, I don't want to rule slayer you, but it'll help you in the long run. You can't twin at the same person, so save that sorcery point. I can't what? You can't twin. You can't twin cast at the same person, so save that sorcery point. Oh, okay. Save my sorcery point. Okay. So I, I guess didn't want you to screw yourself on something that you can't do. Love you. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Um, he is going to use another movement action to go up the wall 10 feet uh, as he spider climbs, and then it's now on the ceiling. Huh. Uh, I can still I reach him. <laughs> yeah. Ceiling can. Ooh. Uh, there you go. Oh, thank you. Just put him back right there. Oh, boy. Uh, actually, he's going to do that and then go across to above you, bro. Can you make it all the way there? Uh, uh, wait, hang on. 10, uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's not gonna be above big Sterling, so <laughs> yeah, there's fine. Uh, where? Uh, in a space above the- Here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's the Hound's turn. Okay. Uh, and then Sterling, you're on deck. Ha <laughs> 10 feet, North 10 the hound. Let's see. So, first of all, I'll use this, the dire Slow wolf little vampire. Yeah. I just gotta see if the hounds can go up walls, because they're shadows, so it makes sense in my head, but... <laughs> Trying to see if they can jump. Against the target. Um, well, I'm just wondering how how high up is that uh, that shelf? The bookshelf? Yeah. Uh, it's floor to ceiling. Uh, oh. Okay, so it's got to go direct, so it'll end up direct here, yeah. and I suppose it will attempt to. Uh, jump the 10 feet. Uh, what's its strength score? Uh, its strength score is plus three. It's a 17 total, so it should be able to jump. Uh, what's the, what's the, I, I always do this, jump distance. If you get a running you jump. running jump is uh, at a half or double your strength. Like no, I double, think a running jump is your full strength. Well, it's yeah. straight up. I think it's double. Full, full are you, are you doing double? Are you, are you doing long jump or high jump? High jump. Um, you can leap into the air equal to three plus your strength modifier if you move six. 10 feet immediately before the jump. So you so don't, you can only do half of that. You can only get up six feet. So I can't reach him. No. Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. That will... Good, good attempt, though. Yeah, that'll end its turn. Okay, let's go back over to all of you <laughs> folks. Okay. All right. Uh, Luck, friends. Okay. Uh, Esmeralda, top of the order. As All this right. thing is well, fighting. Uh, since I have taken no other action, that witch bolt automatically hits. Yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm assuming you'd like me to re-roll. It doesn't specify, but I'm assuming you re-roll the, the uh, damage. Damage, yes. I imagine, yeah. That's a powerful spell. Not as pretty this time, though. It's concentration, right? Yes. Okay. And I have not taken any damage since then. Okay. 19 points of lightning damage. Nice. Got it? Yep. Uh, he is you, you are starting to see that he is starting to move a little slower. Ooh. And is currently showing damage. All right, guys, this is it. It's not looking so good. Okay. Uh, Noggins, you're up. Dimitri on deck. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. So this thing is how far away from me? Uh, it is five feet from you. Oh, for what I'm saying. Uh, no, five. No, five, ten. Five, ten. Uh, but it diagonally is five. Diagonally five. Five. Yeah. 
Is it really that yeah. close to me? Yeah. Oh, you're, well. you're here. It's there. Yeah. You can do a five foot step and you're in there. Oh, no. So I'm not immediate. I'm not in melee range no, right now. No. I'm saying you're five, five feet from it. You're not adjacent to it. So I'm 10 feet from it. Yep. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm like, am I five or am I 10? So I just want to make sure I don't want to take an opportunity to attack if I If you were five feet, you'll be adjacent to it. Yeah, great. I'm not doing that. Yeah. That's gross. Uh, firstly, bonus action will be for Low Holt because he got knocked the F out. Uh, oh, no. Wait, I used three on Aster before? Yes. So let me use... Oh, I'm going to regret. Uh, I'm going to do three. I'm going to save one to be safe. I'll use three on you. He'll just start whipping up some of the energy and it'll flow towards you. Kind of encapsulate your mind, your mind follicles. Uh, the one follicle. That is... Fine grapes. Your mind. <laughs> 12 <laughs> points of healing. How many? Thank you. 12? 12. 12. Uh, plus uh, three points of temporary HP. Thank you very much. Um, of course, I, I, don't die, please. I, mean, I can get you back up, but I'd rather, I, I'd rather not. Uh, action will be something fun. Probably not. Uh, ooh, yeah. Okay, y'all too close for that. Uh, I guess for ease, I will just. Um, I will, yeah, some green flame will appear in my green hand, flame. I think. And I'm going to shoot it at it. Yeah. Green flame. I hit it with a produce flame. Uh, that is a 21 to hit. To hit. Oh, eSports! Uh, that is 14 <laughs> points of fire damage. Magical fire? Yeah, yes. Got it. Um, All right. And you didn't like that, that is going to be me. Um, Spike is going to just stabby stab, I believe. Okay. Uh, still hanging on to, like, to his neck. And he's like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's what it's going to do. Uh, first attack, natural 20. Hey. Second attack. <laughs> what is next? What is <laughs> 19. To hit? Yes. To hit. Great. Uh, let's do... Let's go, dog guys. Hold on. So... Wells, just off the jump. Put it right here. Okay, then. Uh, ooh, 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 okay. Wait. Wait, yes. No. 23. 29. Ouch. 29 plus 8. 37. Me a little spray. Plus, what? what he did to me to bring my uh, 37. 37 plus of piercing plus nine points of force. So 43 in total. Have to. <clears throat> so what's half of that? 21? 22? 21. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. All the damage is halved? That's mundane, right? It's not magical? Part. Okay, I'll do it separately. Um, Crap. Hold on. It was nine force, Shit. you said. Nine it, force. it was nine force. No, it's more than that, technically. Sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh. I did. Crap. Hold on. I got this. I got this. 12, 11, um, 11, 11, 17, 25. 25 will be half to 12. Yep. And then I just rolled nine plus automatic six. So 15 is force damage. Got it. Phew. Wow. That's it. That's it. That's uh, looking rough. And then it looks at the people who are around and just goes, bye bye. And he's going to um, 
uh, bonus action, teleport to me. I think it's kind of be on my shoulder. Right. Okay. Got it. Because he's not getting hit immediately. And then I'm going to, nah, I'll stay there. Darn it. That's okay. me. Dimitri, you're up. Flat foul for your Okay. Flail for Flail for Yaga. Flail for I'll, uh, I'll say, enough of this. And activate Ooh. form of dread. Ooh. <gasps> the eyes glow red. Yes. And the ghostly wings sprout from the back. Yes. And now comes the sword. Of our, <laughs> of our <laughs> lost. Okay. Dirty 20. Oh. Nice. Hey. Okay. Come on. Oh, reroll those. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's always good when you reroll one. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, 19 magic damage plus oh. divine smite. Yeah, of course. Ooh. I mean, for good measure. We have to yes. be good measuring mm -hmm. people. Okay. Um, uh, so it's going to take 3d8 because it's undead slash fiend. That's an 8. 8, eight 15, 10, 5. So 15 radiant okay. on top of the first number. All right. <laughs> um, Which hopefully you remember. How do you want to finish off this Doom Knight? 19. Oh, there we go. I didn't even have to. Okay. Um, Wait. It only takes one blow, and I come straight down, and the Sword of Argonvoss splits the helmet in half, and two halves go to either side. Yeah, and then you watch the tendrils just dissipate, and as it kind of like dissipates, the pieces of armor just all fall to the ground and clatter till silence in the space. Nice job, my friend. We'll hold backs against the wall. Perhaps I've misjudged the evil that walks this castle. Thank you, friends. Yes. Um, I so will I... cast Cure Wounds at third level on the hold okay. to get him back up. Okay. Because we need you, my friend. Oh, much appreciated. Uh, so. Is anybody else hurt? I mean, That's from that awesome. first round, when he did the whole... Yeah. Uh, that little surprise, here's yeah. my necrotic thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most yeah. people got at least in our terms 20 points of damage, but like, yes. is it worth curing you now versus. Uh, okay, I'm still all right. I'm still all right. I'm hoping. If, if, does it seem like anyone else is uh, struggling? Me, but I'll take care of it. And I'll uh, lay on hands for light. Like, Shining on, and I'll restore some of my hit points. I'll you just restore. hug yourself. I hug myself. Oh, I just yeah. hug myself into a little yeah. fetal position. I even loved. I even loved. Or are you just healing yourself? <laughs> I'll put twenty in there. Bring me down to a reasonable hit point loss of thirteen. Right. As Merelda. I'll just be less. I'll be able to do the same. Like, yes. Yeah. To me? Are you to myself? Yes, absolutely. Um, as you're all kind of settling, you look to your right and the crypt door that is directly to your right here, uh, on the door, on a little placard, it says, Artista the Slop, court ceiling painter. Artista the what now? The Slop. The Slop. The Slop, D-E-S-L-O-P. This, oh, I thought you said the, I was like, no. I'm not familiar with no. what Slop, uh, the Slop? Court ceiling painter. Court ceiling painter. Yeah. Back so to, like what the bats yeah. are covering? Yes, I guess, maybe. Court. Like underneath the court. what the bats are covering? Okay. he's a painter. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Over back over here, Sterling, you are up. All right. So um, <clears throat> he's on the ceiling. I can still reach him. Yeah. So I'm going to swing at him twice. Okay. Mm. And hopefully... Hit this time? Hit twice. Hit twice, I hope. Um, yeah, I guess a nine doesn't do it, but no. it's a 19? Yes, it sure does. Okay. <laughs> All right, eight plus four, that's 12 points magical slashing damage. Got it. Is that your turn? Um, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Yeah. Um, he is going to, he walks to, so he's right on, like above you. 
Mm -hmm. In fact, I can do that. Oh my god! Is That's he walking, a reach. like he's standing? Yeah. He crawl, no, he's like crawling. Spider-Man. He's crawling. And then he is going to... He's crawling on all fours. Okay. And then he's going to stand above Sterling to a point where he can attack him. So wait, he's standing his feet on the ceiling, his sword down, or his... No, so, so he was crawling like this. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Yep. And then he's going to stand and attack Sterling and then okay. crawl again. Okay. Crouch again. So you can put that so that he's like above Sterling. But, oh, so neat. put that on there, and then that'll extend above Sterling. That's neat. What's that? Yeah, you know. That's Axe and Shield, baby. That's really cool. Good people over there. That Axe and yeah, Shield. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he's going to come down, attack. Um, he is going to attack you with a... Ooh, that's probably not going to be enough. Um... My AC is 22. The 17's not going to hit. No. 22. Let's try that again. You just re-roll. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> just keep rolling with it. Until he hits. That one's going to be a 27. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Uh, instead of taking damage, you are now grappled again. Okay. From the ceiling. From the so ceiling. He automatically grapples me when he hits that? Yeah. yeah, so if he hits with your thing, instead of do- doing dealing damage, he can okay. choose to grapple you instead, All and right. then you can try and, and escape it the next okay. turn. And, and he, he doesn't get any, like, disadvantage because I'm large or anything. Ah, we should find that out, actually. Uh, can somebody look up the grappled state? I got you. I'm pretty sure it does not, but I'll just check real quick. Okay. It's fine if, if he does, because, you know, I know he likes me a lot. Yeah. He does. He just yeah. wants to hug you. He just wants a hug. Yeah. And, you know, a little nuzzle. Yeah. Um, what he needs is a little muscle. Mm-hmm. Just... Wants to get past that hard. Um, yeah. Wants to get to the target the must be no more than one size larger than you. So right now so you're one size, so you're fine. Okay, if you're yeah. huge, it'd right. be a problem, but you're not. So no, it's it's normal. Okay, your hound is up. Groovy. Okay. Uh, so I have a question. Yeah. Technically, each each turn sort of takes place simultaneously because otherwise it wouldn't make sense. You sure. drop and sure. then oh next turn. Sure. So if I my hound has to move towards the character always. So he's gonna try and jump at him. He won't succeed, sure. but it should bring him within uh, within five feet. Would that then, on my turn, give the disadvantage to him because it's supposed to take place on every, each turn is supposed to take place in tandem? That is my question. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yes, things are kind of supposed to happen, but there is a round order for technical reasons. So I would say no. Because okay. that turn order does have to happen, and if something happens in a turn order and doesn't happen in the next, I would say it doesn't. That is my ruling. I apologize. Second question. Sure. Could he jump on you and you launch him as a reaction? <laughs> like I I move to throw him. Like he uses you as sort of a jumping platform. Well, I, I'm not opposed to it. How would that work? Yeah, so I would say that in that case, you'd have to give me an acrobatics check with him. Okay. In order to kind of like climb Sterling. Okay. Uh, Sterling would be difficult to rein, so it would be half movement. But I would allow him to kind of like, if you can make it work. It's only 20 feet up, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, 10 feet up. That's like a, uh, like a eight. Okay, so so he tries, so he, he, can't, he can't quite get. Okay, yeah, yeah he, he can't quite get purchase. All right, then he ends his turn. Okay, uh, uh, after that he attempts to bite you using one of his legendary actions. Ooh, gosh, okay. Slip have that iron in his diet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a twenty-six. Yeah, that hits. Um, he said iron. That's going to be seven points of piercing damage. Okay. Fourteen points of necrotic. Oof. Oh. And that comes off the top. Where are you at? He is attacking from off there. So. Okay. I am at 36 hit points. Okay. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, he's a monster. <laughs> no, but 36. Is that your cap? 36? Yeah. Is that is that your, your max now? My new max is 56 down from 101. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not quite bloodied, technically. Technically. <laughs> With my new hit point. Cap. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. 
True. Uh, Roan, you're up. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have him do a... Okay, first of all, I'm gonna use my uh, big beast hand. Yep. Move him 60 feet into the air <laughs> and have him attempt to smash him. Uh, you mean 10 feet? Could really use an actual 20 right now. Because it's only 10 feet up. Yeah, so I can yeah. move within 60 feet. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, so that will be a 21. To hit? Hit yeah. it. That will be all of these. Oh, I forgot to see it. Ooh, oh, boxcars in a good way. That's 23 force damage to him. Okay, got it. Ding. Does he look hurt? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's not looking good. And then I'm going to... Did he ever spill his wine? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm he's balancing it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you gotta go, right? It's yeah. to go. I'm gonna go ahead and Eldritch Blast him as well. Okay. I wonder if that wine is coats. Uh, oh. That would be a uh, 23. Hits. Okay. That's two of these. Wait. So that's max 10. Uh, that's 16 force damage. You are a blaster caster. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll... Well, in my turn. Okay. Um, he's going to... As he's grappling you, you feel him biting into your neck, and he's going to smack you with his other hand. Jerk. Okay. Um, right. 17 to hit. It's not going to hit. Not going to hit. Okay. So ping. To the top of the order, Sterling. <sighs> All right. To We're going to talk the order to you. Uh, <laughs> top of the order to you, sir. Yes, indeed. So I'm going to break out of the grapple because, like, I've had enough of being grappled. They get advantage on that. That's, uh, well, plus seven. That's 17. Um, oh, yeah. Hang on. The other one's higher, I think. Another roll. Uh, that's not enough, fortunately. It was an eight. No. Oh, it was an eight. I don't think eleven from here. Not enough, unfortunately. Not enough. Nope. Okay. This mofo is He's strong. Hmm? Uh, that's a good idea. I'll bonus action second wind. <clears throat> we'll recover some hit points. Okay. That was your turn? That is my turn. Okay. It is now his turn. He heals back some, and then he is, because you are still grappled, he is going to attempt to bite you again. Sterling is at 22 hit points. Plus what he just got. That's only a 15. Plus yeah, plus my second one. Oh, okay. <clears throat> you, oh, 46, okay. Uh, that's not going to be enough. Um. He's going to hit you again. That's going to be a 26. That hits. Oof, I only rolled a one. That's going to be five points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. All right. So that puts me at 41. Okay. Hound. Uh, actually, if he's grappled onto him yeah. now, yeah. Is, is he dropped? No. All right, he's only they, five feet tall. Well, he, so he's he's. So st how tall are you? I'm seven foot seven. Yeah. So basically, he's making up the th th the two feet, so he can be uh, crouched and still grappling his head and biting him <laughs> as he's there. So he's he's as tall as Sterling is. So he's seven, uh, almost eight, seven seven up. Okay. Then I'm gonna have my hound attempt to do the acrobatics sure. again to go up. Sure. Uh. Yeah, it's worse than last time, so ignore that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so he basically leaps up, you know, jaws of darkness snapping at the vampire, yep. but it's just out of reach. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, wait. If he's grappled, yeah, if he's grappled, um, that means he's holding him within seven feet. Because he's seven, seven feet tall. Seven feet, yeah. So that would mean... My my hand just has to stand on their hind while snapping at him while like leaned up sure. for, for the five feet to be there, sure. which is what yeah. I would like yeah. the case to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, so that he would get the, yeah. this advantage. Yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Cool. I'll allow it. Cool. Uh, that was your. Uh, that was the hound's turn. Yeah. It's your turn. You haven't right. taken a turn yet, right? No, I haven't. No. They're sort of incorporeal. So. Actually, before you do, he's going to try and bite you again. Uh, 23. No, 26. That's a hit? Yeah. Nine piercing damage. Okay. Nine points of necrotic damage, and your hit point maximum comes down. <clears throat> so for that necrotic damage, yeah. I'm going to use one of my runes. And I'm going to transfer that to one of the Hal Hounds or the Shadow. Okay. Cool. So okay. that nice. yeah, it allows Good me job. to transfer that damage. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm assuming that that one. They do have health pools. Uh, this one. Okay. So that was two. Okay. So that one. it doesn't affect my hit point one. maximum, I, I'm assuming. Uh, oof. Good question. Um, if I'm transferring damage. Okay, so over. it affects. Hounds. Is it the cloud room or it would attack? It would affect the hound. Uh, yeah, I believe it's cloud. Room. If it's the cloud room, if the entire attack goes through a portal to the other one. Yeah, yeah. So it would affect. Oh, it. so the full damage, including that nine. Yeah. Uh, so everything goes over. We used it in a, in a scenario. Okay. In the game, yeah. it was very technical, and it saved our party's life. Okay. okay then I'm rolling your eye. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start room. with Big B's. Yep. Yeah. Clench fist. Uh, that's a twenty-four to hit. Yes. That's gonna feel good. And. I'm just gonna call it. I think he's going down this time. Oh, uh, that's yeah, eight plus. Uh, that's eighteen force damage. Got it. Okay. And then I'm uh, again a little bit concerned about Serling, so I'm going to use uh, considering the hounds leaned up against him. I'm going to use the uh, another psychic glance. Okay. Uh, you need to make two saving throws of s intelligent saving throws. Give me a seventeen or higher. Disadvantage. On one, what, sorry? What kind, oh, what kind of saving throw? Intelligence. So it's advantage. 17. Yeah. Fail. On okay. Face, right? Then no. uh, you're incapacitated till the start of my next turn. Okay. And you'll take seven of these. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to go ahead. So that's nine. Then that's uh, 14, uh, that's 20, and final one, 22. Uh, that would be psychic damage. 22 psychic damage okay. and incapacitated until the start of my okay. life. Okay, this is your brain. As your psychic glance hits, uh, you watch, whoosh, he dissipates into a mist that circles the ceiling and is basically just like floating in the air. Um, after your turn, it begins moving towards the window. Oh boy. It's your second hound. And it's just basically floating along the ceiling. Uh, so the hound always knows where, where he is. Um, so the hound's going, to, is he up higher than the hound can reach or is he going Right now, to yes, because he's right against the ceiling as mist, in the mist form. Uh, so the hound's going to attempt to jump off of uh, Sterling again and snap at the... Uh, at the mist? Yeah. It's going to okay. try and get into the mist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. it's going to it do an acrobatics. That will succeed. That's really high. That's like a 23. Uh, 22. One second. Is Dex twenty one? Sorry. Uh, magical damage. Uh, so it goes based off of the uh, the bites. Uh, so I assume not. Okay. It bites through it. No effect. Okay. Um. Yeah, the hound will end its turn then. Okay. Uh, and uh, who's next, I guess? Sterling or Vampire? Uh, the next is uh, after your hound is Sterling. Okay. Actually, after that, it 
Uh, well, how, how, I, I said it didn't. It, it, it didn't move or it didn't? You said it, was, it, did. said it, it, you said it dissipated it towards the windows. Towards the window. Oh. With its next legendary action move, it you watch as it seeps through the cracks between the windows and disappears into the outside. <laughs> and it goes quiet in the room. Okay, so uh, here's the thing. Oh. The hounds know where he is at all times. Um, and let me go ahead to features. Uh, at the start of its turn, the hound automatically knows its target's location. Okay. If the target was hidden, it is no longer hidden from the hound. Okay. So was it hidden with the mist? No. Okay, so the hound still knows where he is. Okay. Um, and then the other thing is, um, is that uh, I don't think... <clears throat> you need like restoration to get that health back, right? I, I'm actually not sure how that part works. Me neither. That's exciting. So he's supposed to be incapacitated to the start of my next turn. So would he have been able to do any of that is the question. It, it, it says as soon as he turns zero, hits zero, he turns it to mist. Okay. And so I would say I would say yes because of the, 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 the way that the mist escape ability is worded. Um, it's no longer him, I think. It's because just, it's, once you go unconscious... The incapacitated that makes no difference. You did the damage before, like he was incapacitated, then he hit zero hit points, and that's what triggers the mist transformation. Uh -huh. And you're no longer incapacitated when you're unconscious. I don't believe it's like a, it's like the mist is like an um, it goes on autopilot yeah. back to the coffin. Yeah. So it it goes to the. Well, to the you all don't know that in game, but yeah. no, but yeah, that's just okay. So so then uh, to be uh, clear, though, the the hounds will know where he is. Yeah. Uh, as the mist is going, so they'll be able to track the mist. Sure. Uh, and they'll know his location. So forever uh, till they despawn. Okay. Uh, which I believe is five minutes. Okay. So, um, so yeah, that's. Cool. We also have the combat. Okay. Yay! All right. Okay. Back to the rest of the group. As you all sit, fairly somewhat quiet. What do you do? Well, that was easy. <laughs> uh, I mean, sort of. But uh, did you? Hey, check a look. Take a look at this door over here, you guys. Did you see this little sign here? Is that Sergei? Yes. So what's is this, that? And, and there's a door, Jay. Sorry. Yes. Right there's beside you. Door. door. It's right here. It's the one right here. Uh, you think this is? I want to see what this is. I mean, it's it's very interesting. What uh, what does it say? A uh, misses a slop or you you all see it now? Yeah, misses a slop. Shut up. The question is, is that do we want to go and be opening other places just in case they come back? Artista de slop, court ceiling painter. Or is this someone that we need to find? Artista de slop. Artista de slop. Who are we looking for? I'm... Our mission is that. I don't know. I I don't have a map to this place. I just I'm curious. We, I mean, we need Asta's guidance. For if this. you're looking for the tomb of Strahd's brother, it's just ahead uh, to your left. I believe the rest of these are just crypts of, well, as far as I could tell, I random mean, people. Well, I, do you know anything about this guy? No. A recap. This blade, this sun sword you're looking for, was in Sergei's tomb. That's what we've come to believe. And it's Strahd, or this... And if the straw realizes that it was there, perhaps he moved it to another tomb. Clever he might be. Maybe not to another part of the castle, but maybe to another tomb. I mean, if he, it, and if he was smart, he would not make it like, uh, 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 you know, easy to find, I would imagine. Sometimes hiding something just under your nose is the most effective way to do things. It could be literally in the grave beside Sergei. We would never think to look so close. You just did. As this it's is happening, I want to like open Fair. the door and pass you on like... the head. Okay, you're trying to open the door. Yeah. Okay. Um. Sorry, one one quick sec. Uh. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, twelve. I'm surprised no one did that during sound check, to be honest. Mm. Well, we Next will time. from now on. Next time. Missed opportunity, if I've ever heard one. End of the missed opportunity. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. What you see, Esmeralda, before you open it is um, a tight-fitting stone slab measuring three feet wide and five feet tall. Um, and it looks like it's been chiseled out of stone. Um, you try and push on it. Give me a strength check, please. Okay. Well, let's see. Plus. Let's see. Strength. Fifteen. Okay. Meets it, beats it. There is some Eight. resistance, but you kind of press and you hear almost like a sound, and then the slab goes basically pushes past into a void. And so it's not like a door on hinges. It's just a big slab that you're able to kind of move out of the way and open up Oh, slightly. whoops. Did I do that to you guys? <laughs> That's like this conversation going on. From inside, um, you open it up enough that you could squeeze through if you wanted to. You can continue to open it up all the way if you want to, or you can leave it where it is. But you smell this like um, very uh, sort of musty dead air inside. Like this hasn't been open in a very long time. I'm going to open it up all the way because I just don't want that sure. to hit me full force if I just peek, stick my head in. Sure. The dome ceiling of this crypt is painted with an image of imps holding bouquets of colorful flowers. <laughs> oh, cute, you guys. A skeleton draped in rags lies atop <laughs> a marble slab in the center of the crypt. A wooden box is tucked under the bony hand. A wooden box? Mm -hmm. Under a bony hand? Yeah. Oh, that's a so... box that I may retrieve. That's so tempting. Go ahead. What do you do? I'm gonna take the box. Yeah, being that I'm you there, guys, there as well, you guys be prepared to like yeah. back me up if something bad happens. Yeah, I put my hand will on we? my bag will we? and prepare. Has Merelda had? Hey, you? I thought we had like a thing going, <laughs> like a friendship here. I would have done the same for you. As <laughs> Merelda so heads into the crypt, um, and as you go and you pick up this box, you, you're your just box. gonna pick it up. You're just gonna pick it up. <laughs> I guess that's a no. I already, I already said. I already said. I was. I picked it up. Okay. So yes. You picked it up. No effect. Uh, no. Nothing happens. And <laughs> it is just an unlocked box. As you open up this box, uh, it contains seven wood-handled paintbrushes and seven small gourds of dried-up paint. These look like your magic sticks. <laughs> no, 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 that's different. A little okay. different. Let me. Low Holt and Dimitri, you notice that this extends into darkness further. Um, we can even actually, uh, how much light again is yours? 30 feet? Uh, 30 feet. How much, do you have dark vision? You don't, right? No, I don't have dark vision. So let's say 10, 20, another 30 feet is yeah. to here. Okay. Uh, so how many paint brushes did you say? Seven. seven and seven, right? Seven. Yeah, seven paint brushes, seven boards. Uh, anybody could they able to tell if this is magic or not by any chance? Like the paint, maybe? I do not know. Uh, or is this just like ordinary paint? You notice know. that there's a portcullis closing off an entryway with yeah. steps leading down here. Uh, you just That's all you see kind of around the corner. You yeah. see it leads into a larger room. That's I'll, I'll just try to shine the light up. Can I see anything inside? Up to 30 feet. So what is here? Where is 30 feet? 10, 20, 30. I get to see that. Okay. All right. Ryan, you can show that other image, which these guys can't see. Okay. Actually, I just thought about that. I'll watch it when <laughs> I watch go. it tomorrow. Uh, oh, very pretty. Oh, is this that? Oh, is this right. one of the people on Discord <gasps> Daisies? No, it's oh, yeah, RPG. I uh, told you it was RPG. cute. It's very good stuff. A Patreon. White marble steps descend to a tomb that has a vaulted ceiling 30 feet overhead. A stillness, a calm amid the storm is felt here. In the center of the tomb, a white marble slab supports an intricately inlaid coffin. Chiseled into the slab is a name that you cannot read from here. To the north, behind the coffin are three alcoves. A beautifully carved statue stands in each alcove. A stunning young man flanked by two angels, looking as polished and new as the day each was placed there. That's all you see. 
What this is did? a pretty intricate <gasps> looking tomb. This was it's a... really pretty. That's a tomb over do you there. think it's do you think it belongs to the person whose name was on that plaque on the door? I don't know. Aster, is this Sergei's tomb? This was what you It mean. is. How do we get in here? Um, oh, oh. There was a lever on the inside uh, that raises the portcullis. I think we used a mage hand. Only on. Wait, this is Sergei's? This one? I immediately. Uh, no, this one over here. So if you go to the map, then we'll be like, this is where me and Ezzy and. Oh, we're you're, you guys are across the way. Yeah, we're looking from me. here. They are. Kind My of bad. Like I here. didn't see from the yeah, details yeah, of the. Yeah, I'm that's minimized for me, so I didn't see that we were in two different places. Yeah. Noggins, where are you? Because you're in the middle of the two parties. Right there. Uh, I mean, I'm going to start heading. I mean, I hear about the the paintbrushes, but hearing that, I'm going to start moving towards y'all. Um, and getting, and Spike's gonna be with me still because he's got a whole hour. He's gonna be on my shoulder, so you know. Okay. Uh, um, knowing that I hear Aster in the distance say, that is Sergei's tomb, I will immediately whip around and detect or divine sense the area, yep. knowing that the last time they discovered his tomb, Strahd came, so I'll divine sense immediately, like almost like yeah. after being shell shocked by that doom night, sure. I just, yep. just like wave through the whole area. And uh, well, within 60 feet, right? And I'm also out of these now, so I'm going to rely on you next time. <laughs> oh, okay. Within 60 feet, correct? Within 60 feet, yes. And I'll hold concentration 40, on that. 50, 60, go Nothing. Ahead. And uh, I'm going to step up in front of the portcullis. And as I do, my form of dread Dissipate. goes away. Okay. And um, just seeing the coffin on the other side and realizing that this is sort of our big objective. Yeah. I'm just going to crouch down and try to lift it myself. Ooh. Okay, give Wait, me so you... a strength check please. Are you going to the oh, are you going yeah. to the coffin? He's he's trying to lift the portcullis. Is it port oh, this portcullis oh, here? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, cool. He's like, how do? Yeah, like, um, he's opening <laughs> coffins again. Is my, this straight strength? Hold on, my blade yeah, has a power. Straight strength. As you're doing that, um, my blade will come down and will literally just touch your elbow and kind of push a little bit and I give you guidance. Oh, much the blade itself, it's a D4. The blade itself gives it to you. Okay. But it's concentration based, right? What is? Guidance? Yes. No, I'm dumb. Yep. Okay, the line sense goes away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, play the game, Tom. Okay, so that's a dirty 20. Nice. Okay. So. Not enough. Wow. As you start to... you, you st It starts to kind of lift a little bit, but then... Drops Trust. together. Yes, I think I need to. Yes. While they're while they're doing that, um, it's not that he gets scared, but he just gets concerned, and that's kind of visible on his face. And he looks over at Falfer. Who, mm -hmm. Are you still look like Strahd? I do. <laughs> I do. Um, <laughs> I, I will. I will look at you. Kind of look down and go. Um, is that like an accurate? Well, you're short, but like. Is that really what he looks like? This is us. This is what he looks like, almost to, to a T. I mean, except for the fact that he's, you know, several feet taller than this. <laughs> but just think of me as a mini Strahd. Um. Then can I do something really quickly? Sure. Um. J just h hold on, and I'm going to. Uh, this is kind of the flavor of how I'm doing the spell. Yeah. Um. I'm going to take my circle and hold it to your temple for a second. Okay. And you see, like, I'll, a, you see I'll like move a up witch. to you having this conversation because I was a little further away, but yeah. Oh, great, great. Cool. Uh, you'll see like a, almost like a wisp of something um, come out of you, and I'm almost like taking in your form more than anything. And then I'll start to mutter, and you almost see like this cloud appear above me. Um, you see like the manifestation of the dream. Um, as I cast locate creature. Oh. Using uh, a familiar guise of Strahd, how he looks for the most part, I'm going to see where Strahd might be. If he's in the wow. thousand, within oh, a thousand feet God, of me, within, I'll know how, where he is. How, how far does he have to be within? A thousand feet. <gasps> Dude. That's at least one minute. <gasps> That is so smart. Is there a saving throw on that? Is it working? No, I guess we'll sense it to the location. Direct, uh, I will sense the direction to the creature's location as long as the creature's within a thousand feet. Unless if the creature is moving, moving, you'll know the direction of its movement. CBU um, freaking clever. Mind. 
<laughs> so smart. Well done, Nagi. Okay. Uh, direction. I'm just worried. <laughs> I'm worried this motherfucker gets about to you're, pop up next to us now. So yeah, I've mentioned it before. And so you don't know the distance, you just know the direction. I know the direction. I know it's if like he's a, in the it's like a, feet, and I know if he's moving. I know the direction of the movement if he's moving right now. Yeah. It's an A. It's like, it's like the alien. <laughs> <laughs> so, right? Um, you you recognize you know that this creature. And there's no test for it, eh? At all? Nope. Unless he has okay. non-detection on, or any sort of non-detection. Or unless yeah, yeah, if, 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 if it can't be detected, then yeah. Stuff. Like mind, like it would it wouldn't yeah. work on me. Yeah. Um, you sense that he is up and at about a 45 degree angle uh i believe it's west it's... of your position in this castle somewhere over there <laughs> <laughs> basically like what? yeah no he's like up this way yeah okay but not here and does and does the feel that does it seem like his direction is shifting at all because i don't know if he's moving as soon as you do it you feel his attention towards you. No! Oh. Maybe it was a good thing he broke for So, um, what are you- You will see my here? eyes immediately widen, um, and you will see like that undulation of the galaxy, uh, undulate. <laughs> um, <laughs> you'll see that kind of shift, but then you'll suddenly see me like stiffen and all the hair on my on my arms and my legs just suddenly like shoot up like a porcupine, like a, like a scared cat. Are you okay? Um, what is going on? He knows where we are. Right now? How does he know where I, we are? <clears throat> I was making sure he what, wasn't here. What did you do, Noggins? I wanted to make sure he wasn't right here. He's in the castle. hearing skittering in the distance. Oh, shit. Okay, open that door. The door. Let's go. No, Let's go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I don't know if he's coming now, but he's Do I feel him moving? Absolutely. So you can give your strength modifier to him. So plus three. Plus three. And, uh, while they um, are doing that, yeah. I am going to recast um, protection from evil and good because I definitely lost concentration during that fight. Like, yeah. uh, and I, as Merle is sauntering back, going, I found these really old paintbrushes. I don't know if they're significant. Of <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with <laughs> why they all look like you've seen the ghost? <laughs> I believe Strahd is on his way or something much more deadly. Hey, Noggins, can we steal Strahd. your strength bonus? Do you have a strength bonus? No? Okay, never mind. Yeah, that was just a 15, which... Spike is gone, by the way. Locate creature's constitution. Aster, you hear a familiar... <sighs> in the distance. Closer to where you are, coming in you, down from this direction. Uh, yeah, she's gonna move towards the rest of the party. Yep. <laughs> and as you said, you moved back, right? Yeah, I was sauntering back to the group okay. uh, as this commotion, okay. got, as they were all kind of realizing what was going on. Was um, and I'm going to keep my back to the party to look in that direction. So what do we do now? Do we run? You're technically over here. If we hold ourselves up in this building, in this room here, we'll at least have them funneled. But then it is an endless fight. Yes, and, and presumably our weapon is on the inside of this crypt. Maybe if we get inside, we can actually use the weapon. We need exactly. to, we need to, where's the switch, Asta? Well, it's on the inside, she uh, said. It's, it's on the where? inside. But where? Um, I don't know, I'm not the one who flipped it. Well, everybody look. Can we just all kind so, of do? No, again, as you're at the back of the party in the center, you hear so, so closing the, in behind you. The uh, portcullis. Was it's around the around the corner somewhere. You, you if you look through yeah, the portcullis, it's no, it's, it's on the like side that. around the corner. Everyone, weapons out. Wait, there's a, one there's more a, drop uh, uh, at, Sorry, because a lot is happening. Um, um, ah, ah, ah. A couple of things. One, again, do I? I hear the sound, but do I feel that he is moving? Yes. All right, hold on. In our direction. Yes. Oh shit, okay. All right. Um I will just like go into mo where is it? Inside? Uh inside. Inscript. Misty step. I go inside. Okay, what's the distance on Misty Step? Thirty feet. But I'm going to I'm going to the 
to the other side to start looking for it. I'm not gonna go directly 30 feet. I'm just gonna get into like the step oh, area. Okay. Um, just so you're start on the bottom looking step? for this. Yeah. Okay, so all of a sudden, Noggin appears on the bottom steps. Noggin, look for a switch. You couldn't have Where is it? I, I'm, I'm gonna look for it. Somewhere on the wall, maybe? To the yeah. left, you see a lever. I'm also looking for it. I At this point, I'd like to everybody to roll initiative to track time, please. Oh, oh boy, okay. Including us? Fuck no. Okay. Sorry, guys. This is the most stressed I've been <laughs> in this game! Natural 20! Okay. 13. Ah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> I know y'all were excited. I, I don't know if this is excitable or... I'm just sweaty. What right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anybody else sweating over there? Cause, uh... I guess we're not getting that short rest in. <laughs> You're right. You can get the short we're, rest. Yeah, you guys just go to bed on that. Yeah, you get a long rest. Let's just hang out for like an hour. Get a couple couches. You'll do fine. Little rest. Yeah, actually. We will get the uh, eternal rest of the a, TPK. A sort of time exactly. difference between what you guys are doing and where we are right now. Is there? Yeah, I guess you guys are further ahead in time than where we are. Yeah, because you went straight up the elevator, which was like. Wait, you, you've done a bunch of stuff since then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so we're back in time. Yeah, yeah. we're back in time. We're gonna go back in time. Ah, don't worry, I can bring it forward. Ah, uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. This is my realm, bit. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you legacy of mana. No, I can't. It's not that good. Okay. All right, uh, come on, D&D Beyond, all right. Uh, Show me potato salad. <laughs> Dimitri. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Um, uh, 18. <laughs> Sorry, hang on, Aster first, actually. No, Four. you Aster first. <laughs> Aster, no. Oh, I wrote right, the natural one. Aster, sorry, what was that? Ooh. Aster, what was that? Uh, total of four. 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 I just want to say that the viewers at home, they're saying that we have to be more serious. Look. We are only being funny because we are scared to <laughs> shit. Deal with humor. Humor, yeah. Humor is a coping mechanism. Exactly. Dimitri. 18. You guys rolled well. Yeah, we did. It's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad rolled. somebody did. Three. Esmeralda. 13. Noggins. 19. Okay. L uh, low hold, action first. Fell for you on deck. Noggins, you are continuing to sense his whereabouts. Yeah. And he can sense yours. Yeah. He grabs your wrist. Nope. No. He's I am on the other oh, side. Shoot. And yeah. Portos is in the way. Are you on the on the uh, direct inside, or did you like no. go further in? He went to the bottom of the steps. He, yeah, he's like <clears throat> ten feet away from you. Five feet. Come here quickly. Oh, yeah. Come to me quickly, and I'll have to wait. Okay. So he's gonna have to wait till you move. I'll prepare a spell for when. Okay. Noggin's entrance. You get ready to spell. spell. Okay. Falfa, you're up. Noggin's you're on deck. Yeah, I'm gonna ready my um, my crossbows. Yeah. And yell out to Noggin's. But Noggin's, get that switch. Open the door. Okay. So are you ready in action? Yeah, readying an, an attack, attack when this thing something. shows itself. Yeah. I will then unleash my two bolts. Okay. Silvered, by the way. Okay. Uh, Noggin's you're up. Dimitri, you're on deck. Can I see the uh, switch from where I am? Yes, you can. It's right to the left. Around the corner, um, you can reach your. Then you I'm going to. to I'm going to. I mean, it's movement is movement, so yeah. I can still get to little hold to do what he wants to do. Sure, but I'm going to try to uh, quickly grab this lever and try to open it. Okay, so you're going to get the little hold first. It, sure, I guess. I guess. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five feet. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm kind of like, like just scoot, scoot he, over he, real quick. He, I don't know what he's talking about. He grabs your shoulders and he, he says, well, he well, he can't can't through, "Through the bars. Through the bars. Oh, through the bars." He grabs your shoulders and he says. I appreciate what you've done, but it would be better if this was a one-way looking glass. And I cast non-detection on you. Ah. So you should be able to see him, and he shouldn't be able to see you now. So now when we get the sword and get the foot out of here, he shouldn't be able to find us anymore. I hope so, anyway. But you are now non-detect. Spell's done. Continue your action. Okay, so then you move. Uh, so that was 5 feet. 5, 10, yep. 15. Open the lever. That is your action. That's my action. Demetri, you're yep. up. Esmeralda, you're on deck. Um, oh, I will then, uh, that was sorry. only 20 feet. I'm just gonna move 15 feet back uh, now because I have 15 more feet. Straight back? Uh, towards the end, yeah, towards the end, yeah, yeah, right there. You're beside the coffin. 
Uh, that is, yeah, I don't have a bonus action to do. That's it, me. I'm still focusing though, so I'm just gonna. Okay. I know, yeah. You know. Inscribed on the coffin, it says Sergey von Zarvich. Esmeralda, you're up. Did the portcullis open when he flipped the switch? Yes. <laughs> Esmeralda. Uh, I'm going to use my full movement to go inside towards that tomb. Like if it needs, if, if once that thing is the levers pulled, like if, if it needs help moving the top of the thing over, that's where I want to be. Okay. Yeah. Um, so are you, oh yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm taking screenshots, which is what that stupid sound is. Yes. Uh, With all of our faces in this? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, exactly. Just in case, because I have to edit the. It's just like. I have to edit the uh, initiative, and sometimes you can kind of see error saving. There you go. You you just did it. It's a good thing I took photos. Yep. What's what's happening? Indeed. Sorry, I'm just adding something. Look, wait. You're doomed. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Just adding straw. To this is to just what generally happens when he's going to do a TPK. It's nothing crazy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, this is the first time we've seen it, but. But. Well. Uh, Lohol, do you remember what you. Uh, doesn't matter. 26. 26? Whoever doesn't remember, just let me. Uh, Ask you remember your four, right? Yep. 22. 24. Sorry. Oh. Oh, the Dimitri? initiative? 18. 18. Falfer, 23. Esmeralda? 13. Noggins? 19. I am shaking. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Me, me and Big B will just be chilling over here. brilliant idea. It was very good. Well, brilliant, and then put us in a time crunch. No, okay. So, so it was Loholt, Falfer, Noggins, Dimitri. You didn't go yet. No, yeah. Oh, Esmeralda was next, wasn't she? I did my. I took my full movement towards the. So why oh, you must have not gotten to thirteen? You must have got higher, or you got lower than eighteen. My, no, mine was eighteen. My, my, I, that, I rolled a thirteen. All right. Well, as it doesn't matter. Turn. Dimitri, go ahead. Okay. Now that the port call is it's open all the yes. way. Yes. Like, perfect. And I'll use my full movement. I was. You can go diagonal. Okay, because I was in front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. And I'm going to say, hey, there's no time now. And I'm going to try to push the whole mm -hmm. thing open. There's okay. always time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you, you push it with, like, um, an urgency. And as you push it, it pushes and cr almost glides under your touch. Uh -huh. Open. Oh. All of a sudden, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would really uh, put a nail in that coffin if you don't. You have... see a stunningly handsome human male. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> he looks just like Joe OJ. <laughs> and at first glance, y'all, big moment. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And at first sorry, glance, sorry, sorry, sorry. you notice that he is, he appears to be, or to look like he's just sleeping in his casket. His flesh, all of him, he's not emaciated, almost like the day, you imagine he looks just like the day he passed. <laughs> and he has a stunning resemblance to that individual that pulled Irina into the pool and left together. He looks almost like he did that day that that happened. He is currently clothed in this gorgeous shining plate armor with the Von Zarvich symbol emblazoned on its chest. In his hands, clutched on his chest, oh. is the hilt of a sword oh. that looks like this, and it's it's facing oh. down. Is that from the Beetle? <laughs> oh. 
Thank you to Jesse Jerdak for helping me with the 3D model that we got off the internet. And I oh my gosh, Jesse did that? Yeah, well, he yeah he helped me to, to make it a reality, but then I printed it Yay. and painted it. Anyways, it looks amazing. so that is lying on his chest <gasps> in his gap grasp. What? What do you do? The blade is made out of uh, That was your action for opening it? A lightsaber. Would you like to do anything else with your action? Um, I think, like, recognizing this must be it. And desperately, I reach and I grab the hilt. Okay. Uh, tune to it. I would say that is an action. You've used your action to open up the, the coffin. Fair, okay. Fair. Okay. Then, uh, then can I... Okay, I'll just spin around and face outward. Okay, spin him. And, uh, and I'll say, I think we found it. And um, I'll be waiting just to, I'll probably, as soon as I can, <laughs> try to grab. Okay. The three of you that are out in front of those doors, <laughs> turn around and you watch as it looks like. Where was your turn? You, you went, right, Falfer? No, not yet. You should have gone after Loholt. Yeah, something happened with Ezzy and the. Yeah, order. you go. Okay, I'm going to give you your turn first because as is going, the only person who hasn't gone is Aster, correct? And you didn't go. I, I went first, 26. You did. So if there's a new. Oh, wait, because then the, it opened on Noggin's turn. Yeah. Oh, it opened, and you got your turn. The, the portcullis opened on Noggins, which was after you. Noggins is a 19, you had a 23. Yeah, but what did I do? I didn't do you it. turned around and you readied your crossbows yes, to right. fire oh, anything that Oh, that was came. still in this round. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Cool. Then yeah, yes. I'm okay. ready. Okay. So, Low Holt, yeah. you hear a sound behind you, like this, like fluttering and squeaking sounds, like agitated bats. Mm. And you watch as something seems to be moving along the ceiling, two shapes moving along the ceiling, like under a wave of rats, oh, uh, of yeah. bats. And as they move, the bats are moving off it like water, right. almost like it's coming and it's, it's burrowing under, b beneath it, the and the bats are moving and undulating. Um, like right here, and you watch as two feral, humanoids burst out of the the bats on uh, above and drop in front of you and these creatures have dirty ripped clothing they've got these these fangs where their canines are messy basically hair with like dirt and leaves in them and these razor sharp claws with dried blood basically up to their like layers of dried blood caked up to their elbows. <laughs> okay. Um, Falfer, you see the same thing happen here and one drops here and one drops over here. And as they drop to the ground, they go <laughs> and these two move into attack. Uh, The roof is undulating. Is that, is that the they, they, they still attack on their turn? Oh god, we only have one turn for that, eh? Good thing we got that bar open. Oh, I'm so toast. Uh, okay. Um, those two at, go to attack you. Don't I have a ready to action? You do. You, you can fi fire at the... At, you can, yeah, you have four targets. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to uh, bolt those two that are near low hold. Yeah. Um, so attempt to hit. Give me just a he said bolt, and my tides is showing. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Not so, so number one <laughs> attack is a 20, dirty 20 to hit. Hit. Okay, and the second one is a... 25 to hit. Okay, these are natural bolts? These are, no. Mundane? I, I Magical. Not, oh, these are the, no, the, the silver ones. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Wait, who are you, which ones are you attacking? The, these two right here. Thank you to the community of Discord that made those for you. Yep. 
Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Those two. So B and so we're gonna go A, B, C, and D. Okay. So B is so A is the yeah A, B, C, and D. So B is first. Yeah. Go ahead. B is first. So uh, that will be seven damage on the first one. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to do as much damage as you hoped it would. This even with the silver bolt. Yep. Bolts. Okay. Um, I will do that again with the second one. Sorry. Uh, eight damage. Again, right. not as much? Uh, again, not as much. Okay. Let's but those are your two loaded. Now you need to, yeah. to load them again. That's right. I need to reload next. Uh, okay. The two take uh, attacks at you. Actually, these are going to dash so that they close in, but they can't attack. They're going to take their actions to attack. And to, I'm going to, to use my movement Yeah. to move. Uh, get, yeah, get into the room. I'm going to get into the room, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go diagonal like this, Jay, and I'm obviously within five. Uh, wait, you can't use your movement. That's a held action. Oh. This isn't your turn. Right. I used my movement. Yeah, and you were here, right? You were. Yeah, I used it. my. Yeah. I used my movement. Yeah. My turn. You're right. Okay. Um, the first attack, low hold, is only an eleven. Whew. Clink, clank. Mm. The second one. Oh, you're lucky. It's a nine. As clank, clank. two of those cl to the claws just clank off your shield. Do you have your shield up? No. Okay, off your yeah, arm. Use a bastard sword. Yeah, the next one is a um, 23. Clink, clank, clink. <laughs> that one hits. Yep. You are now grappled. It's fine. By this one. Can we get a grapple condition, please, for a little hold? And the second one misses. Uh, as it grap uh, grapples you, it tries to bite at you and just snaps in midair. Okay. The second one here? Did you say uh, this low one. hold? No, hold me on me. It's on me. It's on him. He's grappled. Oh, it's not oh, that. I'm grappled. Right. I'm grappled. Uh, it's okay. Let's, yeah, it's yeah. not the best money for it. Okay. You also watch in the distance as you, as this thing's held onto you and it's grabbed you by the throat and you feel its claws digging in as it's like smashing at you. Just over its shoulder, I'm going to say in the distance this way, mm -hmm. you watch as an individual is slowly walking on the ceiling in your direction, and all you see is a silhouette. Is it an enlarged silhouette of a visage that I saw earlier? Female. Oh, oh. that's good news. Yeah. As it, this kind of saunters over in your direction. Aster, you're up. Oh, sorry. Huh, my bad. Before that happens. All right. I need my security snuggle scarf. <laughs> before that before that happens. Product placement, Nora. <laughs> no, I wish it's no, this is genuine. I'm scared. <laughs> well, we're feeling quite comfortable up there. <laughs> so confident. For some reason. Yeah, we'll be able to get back together, so we, you can die with us. That's what it says when it tries to find it. What? Thank you, Sirens Kate. One more time. My love, you've come to set me free. <laughs> That's what one of them says to you. Oh, I got it. She had now. Uh, <laughs> and as soon as you're about to move for that portcullis, it slams shut. No mother ever. Wait. As, what? As you watch the lever go and no, the party is now split on either side of that portcullis. See we split. No. After or to, wow, this is the worst thing. Uh, See with me now, in the hog hands. Cool, 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 cool. Huh. Me too's in here too. Thank God. Oh, we need our death. Yeah, I'm right. sure you will too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Your holds. Um. Cool. <laughs> Stop <shooting. laughs> Boy. Um. I guess I will bonus action. I'm gonna channel my tail from beyond. And uh, uh, see if that uh, does me any good. Um, 
<laughs> Nora snuggling in the blanket. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, I, uh, I will hold on to that. And then I am going to, as an action, um, this one that's right next to me, um, I will cast Dissonant Whispers. So it needs to give me an uh, um, wisdom save of 16. Fails. Thank you. Cool. It's going to take um, 10 points of psychic damage, and it has to use its reaction to run a- as far away from me as Got possible. Got it. Uh, if it already moved, it'll do it. Uh, so it's the reaction to move. Uh, yeah, but it can't. you can't move with the reaction. So if it's already moved its full movement, how does that work? No, no, no. the spell will make it use its reaction to just go. Yeah. Okay, so it just it, it takes yeah. a move action. It's gone. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, is, it burns yeah. its reaction to yeah. move away from me. Um, um, I'm assuming it, and it, then it, it provokes off, opportunity but... attacks? Yeah, it has. So um, yeah, because it yeah. doesn't say yeah. it. Perfect. Okay, folks, what's your reaction? This yes. is out. Oh. Don't use your reaction unless you thank you. you know. You're right. I got you're, you. You're right. Thank you. I'm. Um, but I think I think gonna, I'm gonna like whoever's it. next to me gets an opportunity to yeah, too because it's did. running yeah. away from us. Yeah, they, that's what I was saying. Yeah. 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 So you get one, as well, Aster. Cool. Yeah. Low hold to on deck. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It runs around the corner after after Aster takes. You know it. what I'm gonna do? What? I'm gonna use that as an opportunity to reload. Can I do that? No. 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 <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change the game. Opportunity <laughs> reload. Why, why are we <laughs> opportunity <laughs> attack? <laughs> you know, um, thing I am just trying to not get gonna do anything because I don't have a weapon <laughs> so and my unarmed strike what, is a whole um, zero points of damage. <laughs> so. <laughs> How long does it take Instead, to reload? Instead, uh, can I see the map? One turn, like one action. action. Okay. Sorry, what's that? I just need to see the map. Um, oh, that's not a great location. So special. yeah, you you get an opportunity attack on this one that just left yeah. your space. Yeah, I'm not gonna take it. I okay. can't do any damage okay. on an attack. That all right? Okay. Um, well, hold her up. Oh, sorry, you're not done yet. I was no, I was just seeing if I, I could move anywhere, but it's not. You could move closer great. to the other vampire or um, colors. Yeah, I don't want to do that either, so I guess I'm just going to stay where I am. There's an open crypt beside you. Oh, that seems like walking into a, a back Worst against a wall. Yeah. So I will stay where I am. Okay. All right. Low hold, you're up. Valfrey on deck. Um, you can't, if grappled, you can't take a dodge action, can you? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah? Yeah. All right, then I'm going to... It's just your, 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 your um, speed is zero, that's all. I'm, I'm going to taunt them and be like, come on! And I will bonus action cast Sanctuary on myself. Yeah. So I'll hold my sword up and you'll see this light blast out in front of them. And this like haze will just surround me. Yeah. And then I will just try to writhe this thing around me and dodge. And yeah. try to make them come at me. Okay. Just, that's it. Come at me, bro. Act as, act as a tank for a Good. while. Good. Fall for you up. Noggins, you're on deck. Come on and fight me, cowards! Poor Kels is down. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, use an action to reload. No, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to use a spell. I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use Zephyr Strike. Nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna cast a Zephyr Strike. So once before the spell ends, you can give yourself advantage on one weapon attack roll on your turn. Uh, you move like the wind until the spe spell ends. Your movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks, uh, and it basically it, it affects my uh, it affects my right? one weapon attack on your uh, advantage on one weapon attack on your roll. So, um, okay. So I can only attack with one of my crossbows now. Yeah. Uh, and but it does it does have gain advantage on that attack. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, so crossbow, that is, oh, natural 20. Woo! 29. On which one? 
The one on grappling? The one that's grappling low hold. So Which one I is that was one? I think it was uh, the one you marked. It was B, B right? A, B. So that guy. B, yeah. Um. So yeah. So I have a clear, clear line of sight. I think to that. Yep. And uh, so that's twenty nine to hit. So it'll do. It'll do double. Oh no no! It was. It was yeah, C. Right? It was C because the first one missed its attacks. The so second one, one, yeah, yeah, C. grappling. Yeah. So yeah. That, one, that one's the one that's grappling. So okay. G on it. So. Okay. So how many? Yeah, that's. <laughs> Go ahead. So how many? So yeah, so um, hit points. So two hit, to hit, so, it'll do double this. It was twenty-seven. Yeah. So no, no, no. So to, so damage, it'll, it's one full dice. So what's your damage dice? Uh, it's a d six. So six yep. plus whatever you rolled. Okay. Plus thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. So that's nineteen. Okay. Done. Nothing for, extra for Zephyr Strike. Uh, nothing extra for Zephyr Strike. Okay. I just don't. Nin- and that's magical damage or silver damage? Uh, silver. Okay. So it's half of that. Yeah. So I gotta switch those. That's not good. Yeah. Okay, got it. Uh, Noggins, you're up. Dimitri on deck. Okay. Um, thing closed again. That's a problem. Firstly, just gonna see if Strahd is still coming this way. Um. Yes. Crap. Uh, I could go, still coming. Um, does it seem like the lever is broken or something? It just seems like it reset to its position. It just moved. Then I will go over because he's got the sword. Um, I will, out of curiosity, but there's no, there's no, uh, uh, nature in this room, correct? Uh, nature check. <laughs> 15. Uh, you actually see in one of the corners, in this corner specifically, there are some mushrooms growing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sacker. I hate that. I kind of don't, but I hate that. Um... Do they seem special or just seem like random mushrooms? They're, uh, you got an 18? And 15. 15, yeah, with the 15, they look quite colorful. They don't look like mundane mushrooms. <laughs> Poison. Oh, they, hey, look, it's the mushrooms. Um, they look like the little tiny ones in, in the bag you got there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, 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 I'm assuming, it's, is that like item interaction or is that a full action? Just curious. I'll say item interaction He's to collect them, just for stat Important hey, question. I hate you so much. Just, just, um, just for, just so, for so what's gonna Okay, what's going to happen is uh, I'll see them kind of go, huh. um, but um, <laughs> I'm going to try to go back to the um, the oh. lever. Okay. So to try you're, you're, you're going to pick the mushrooms? I mean, I'm going to, but that's item interaction. I'm going to do this first. Okay. So you're going to you're, you're gonna take your action to move the lever and then free action to get the mushrooms. I'm gonna go, I just go, just kind of, yeah, just kind of okay. pickpocket that real quick. Okay. But I'm gonna so, try to get the lever. Okay, lever first. Thanks, and the, the portcullis reopens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then... Get in here! Get in here! Uh, Otherwise, don't say uh, I will, I will, um, we, yes, then I will go. Going, ah, uh, I gotta go get those mushrooms real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? Okay, so it opens again. Uh huh. You pick the mushrooms. Yes. Move them to the corner. Shrooms from Snap Tracker. Yeah, we all need some shrooms right <laughs> Yellow now. Day. Yay. I hate this so much. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> this is so, it's the most out of character yeah. thing he's done. Shroom but decoder it's inside. Just for the bit. Uh, just for the bit. Decoder. Well, one of them let you teleport out of a castle? That's very specific. Here's the decoder. What? Use the decoder. Okay, we got a, deco- okay. a decoder. Okay, each one of you pick one, and these are Noggins, owns these. Oh, these are but so just cool. say, just, just. <gasps> Are they a stone? Yeah. Yeah. What would you say? Pick one, and then yeah. Rowan, you pick one. Oh, oh you pick two? The last one, there's oh, three in each. And cream. Okay, so just read them out what they do, and, and uh, listen, Noggins. So that one there, it looks like it's, like it's this one here? No. That one, yeah. It looks like that one. Yeah. You got an uh, Invisi. Invisishroom. 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 It's a, <laughs> what gives you invisibility for one hour. Yes, it wow. does. Which one do you got? The gray one? Uh, or no, it it's blue. It's light blue and then dark blue. that would be this one here. Yep. Look Deep blue, oh shroom. Found in a variety of blues. Eating these salty shrooms 
Grants you water breathing as per the spell Ooh. and a swim speed equal to your walking speed for one hour. Ooh. Nice. And you got the right spotted now. shroom. Yeah, oh, no, oh, oh, on. oh, wait, maybe we got the wrong ones. Let's let's look at that again. No, I think we were right on this. Are you one. sure about the yeah. deep blue? The spotted shroom is animal friend shroom. Uh, eating one of these shrooms uh -huh. allows you to cast the animal friendship spell uh, at, will, at will, at will, for one hour. Okay, so you and you take it and then oh, these, cast, these cast, noggins uh, has all of these, but he yes, casts yeah, all these. Yeah, these are all noggins. These are all noggins. This is, this is super cool. Yeah, that is the deep so, blue shroom. Okay. So invisible shroom, blue shroom, and animal shroom. Yeah, deep blue. Shroom. No, this is the this invisible shroom's a pink one. That's not pink. Yeah, it is. Oh. Is it? Yeah, it's slightly pink. Look. Unless there's a white one in there. Is there a shrinkage shroom? Like shrinky shroom. Oh, it's a oh. shrinkage shroom. Oh, it's a shrinkage right. shroom. Maybe yeah. right. When you eat this shroom, you gain the reduce effect or enlarge effect for 1d4 hours. No concentration required. Okay, there you go. That's Thank cool. you, Stat Trackers. Thank you. Get your shrooms today. <laughs> 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 that is so random. Okay, great. I, know, I, know. I mean, I'll figure out what they do later because I'm not going to metagame that immediately. Yeah, um, exactly. Uh, yeah, I'm up in that okay. Whenever you guys get more shrooms, I'm not going to tell you what they do. Just pop them in the corner. Fair, fair, fair. Um, okay. Quick, 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 uh, quick uh, bonus. Um, God. Nope. No, never mind. I can't do anything else. I can't, but I'm not going to do it. Um, yes. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> Three shrooms. I can't. Okay, <laughs> Dimitri, you're up. Oh, do you want to stay in the corner where you were? No, I want to go back to the group so I can see people. That's the oh, yeah, he's five, blind. ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. That's very slow. Uh, well, thirty-five. Yeah, oh, yeah, thirty-five. So he was here. Five, ten, fifteen for there. Yeah. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Yeah. All right, perfect. Okay, that's as far as you got. Dimitri, you're up. Esmeralda, you're on deck. All right. So just watching all the action, I can see the enemies coming in around low halt. And the portcullis is open now. I look back at the hilt. Yeah. <laughs> just wait. Okay. <laughs> it's so nice. Good. Good. And uh, and I say, <laughs> what please, thank you, Sergey. Omega and took I'll... the invisible shroom. He's gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'll reach down and try to lift it up. Yeah. From his clutches. Yeah. So you lift it up, and his hand hands kind of like open up, and then they flop back on the chest, and you now have the hilt in your hand. Woo! And we're gonna go back to these guys for a second. Ooh. Okay. We go back in time. So the the mist has left. The dogs are tracking it, but it's basically like in the air, heading down to the west. So at a fairly quick movement. So I'll. Uh... I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this, uh, the dogs can move through objects and walls. Okay. Uh, can they fly? Uh, they can't fly, but they'll okay. take the most direct route they can. So they'll probably go down through floors and, and they'll be chasing. So what I'm hoping to see is as it reaches its coffin, eventually the dogs catch up and... <laughs> yeah, but they only last five minutes, right? Yes, but it, that's, uh, that's a lot of turns at 50 feet of movement. Yeah, but we're out of initiative now at this point. Like, it's going to take longer than five minutes to get to, to get through all the, all, it's like hundreds and hundreds of feet. Mm -hmm. Well, we're, we're out of initiative it, right it now? Would be, they are other side of the table. Uh -oh. So that would be 50 feet of movement a turn uh, in, in the normal way. And they have to unerringly go towards that target the entire time. So, uh, if it's hundreds of feet, I mean... Do you have telepathic, a telepathic link to these dogs? Uh, no, I imagine I would know that they're there, but uh, it doesn't talk about a telepathic link. So, uh, basically, they're set loose. You know, let loose the hounds of war. Or ill nice. omen. Maybe so... We'll see uh, uh, him one day again. Or maybe we won't. Okay. Um, but you can't track these dogs. You don't know where they're gone once they're out of your sight. Let's see. The number of, uh, it can move through uh, other creatures and objects as if they were difficult terrain. So if it's moving through walls, it's difficult terrain. So that moves it down to 25. However, it wouldn't all be difficult terrain. Actually, most of it wouldn't it be. Uh, if it ends within a wall, it takes five force damage. However, they all have 35 to 40 health, uh, depending on the damage they took. Uh, at the start of its turn, the hound automatically knows its target location and it cannot be hidden from it. Uh, so... Uh, it'll just keep going after it, I guess. Okay, so you send it after it. One of them? Uh, both of them. They, they have okay. to. 
They, they have to go after their target. Okay. You know? So they disappear um, kind of... I'm assuming they're not. They're not going to just they go through go, the wall. They could if they wanted. No, but if they go through the wall, they're going to fall off the. Yeah. So, so, so it, they would do it in a way that makes sense. Okay. So they could go through the ceiling if if there was a uh, you know. They don't know what's on the other side. I'm going to say they kind of dip into the ground and disappear into the ground. Okay. So the shadows disappear. Yeah. And maybe we'll see Escher again. Maybe not. <laughs> but at 50 feet of movement. Within five minutes. Wow. Just under. So that's a lot. And they can go through. Uh, so they could go into the coffin. And I'm just <laughs> right. I'm okay. All right. Um, what do you do? Gentlemen. Uh, so I'm going to assume the hounds will track him and hopefully take him down. But we can't assume they'll succeed. And our location is now known. We should be quick in whatever we decide to do. Agreed. But he was powerful, incredibly so. He must have been quite a valuable ally, a servant of Strahd. Perhaps there's something of use in this room, some sort of information. We should look around quickly while we can. Very quickly. Uh, I want to take a look around the room uh, and okay. see what I see. Uh, do I see a door here as well? Yeah, so there's a door there. Uh, are you doing like a full investigation? You're taking your action to do an investigation check? I would do a perception check, to see if anything, and I'll scan the books as well. Give me a perception check and an investigation check. Okay. Perception. You want to help me? Yeah. That'd be the best time if you help. Oh, right. Uh, 19. Okay. Um, that's your perception, and then give me your investigation check. Investigation, I have uh, plus four. I have plus zero. Uh, 22. Okay. Um, with a 14, you said, for perception? Uh, I think I said 19. Didn't I? 19, okay. Um, right now, you don't hear anything. Uh, you do hear thunder outside. It is raining. You can hear raining kind of hitting against the windows. And as you kind of walk the sides, you can see out. And basically, through these uh, steel lattice windows, you can see that you are currently in a tower. And you see the roof as it stands with the courtyard and then... Barovia past, although it gets misty and, and, and out of kind of um, mm -hmm. view. Uh, but you can see that you had the, yeah, the, the outside. Okay. Um, with investigation check, you can see that there is basically the room is as it appears. Nothing of note in this room um, that is special or different. Um, again, the, the windows are leaded with hinges that seemingly can be opened and locked from the inside, though they are currently unlocked. Uh, and the bookcase has a ton of books. And you start to kind of look, you catch a couple of the, of the titles um, as a person who searches for knowledge. Mm. Uh, and you look like, you see Embalming, The Lost Art, Life Among the Undead, Learning to Cope, uh, cast, Castle Building 101, and Goats of the Balanoc Mountains. And so there's like, you look around, it doesn't look like anything actually huh. possibly useful. I'd heard that this edition was lost. Ghosts of the Malalak Mountain. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so they're they're valuable to you, but yeah. Uh, yeah like, put, the, put the goat's book in. The goat uh, but book. I said, perhaps the other room, and I'll go yeah. and I'll open we'll the door. Save this one for, for noggins. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to look out the window and down and try to gauge how far down the roof is. Um, yeah, that's a great question. Um, jeez, uh, yeah, hang on, <laughs> that just broke my brain for a second. It's my job, what, what can I say? <laughs> it's what I do. We make it very inconvenient for you, like sending tracking dogs <laughs> that go through shadows and, and asking the names of NPCs. <clears throat> Um, Mind magic. You can tell it's about 40 feet from the parapet to the roof. So that, if you were to fall off the roof onto that parapet down there, it's about 40 feet. Mm -hmm. And then this tower, oh, geez. Um, for the bushes? Yeah, the dumpster full of... Just for the sake of, of, of brevity right now, I can check the exact amount. Sure. But it is some 50 to 100 feet, I think. Okay. 50 to 100 feet. Uh, uh, each 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, at least, at least 50 feet. 40 to 50 feet. No, but I can climb ropes. Thank 
I have a grappling hook and hemp and rope. Well, I'll look in this uh, in this room. Okay. Yeah, you're looking at it. Uh, that is. A large bed sits in the center of this room. It's four corner posts supporting a black canopy trimmed with gold tassels. Several comfortable divans are placed about the room. There is a banded door in the west wall and a smaller unbanded door in the east wall. So it looks like what appears to be a guest room. Okay, and if I take a quick look in here, do I see another door right here? Uh, yes. All right, I want to take a quick look in here and then go open that other door. Okay. As you open that door... Uh, the small wooded panel room reeks of mildew and has a 10-foot high ceiling. Iron hooks line the walls and a dusty black cloak hangs from one hook in the center of the south wall. Uh, in the corner, you see some mushrooms. <laughs> Hey! I read mildew. So mildew. Right here. Oh no. No. Yep. No. No. I had more. Nope. Yep. All there the mushrooms. There. So I will. You don't have the decoder yet. Uh, so. I will go get the. Uh, I will go don't get the, the thing, and I will use a mage hand to grab the cloak and pull it over. Okay. Uh, and then looking around, I don't see any. Secrets, should I, you want a perception check? Anything that might catch my eye? A lever, something to get the elevator going or something? Yeah, hang on one sec. Uh -huh. As you pull on the cloak. He says, don't read the decoder. Yeah, just don't, yeah, don't read the decoder. How many of those do you get? Oh. Ah. Oh. Well, I don't know, but I think these are good ones. Rowan's getting mushrooms too? <laughs> yeah, Rowan's getting mushrooms too. We could be the mushroom boys. Absolutely not. <laughs> There's <laughs> only you, one you had, you, had the an you had an opportunity there, Omega. You, you turned it down. <laughs> Sorry, one sec. I'm just checking something. Yeah, okay. Yours are called mushrooms. Mushroom, <laughs> mushrooms. Um, <laughs> you hate them, got them stuff. Where is this? I don't Sorry, know I'm, I'm a little confused. What I was thinking when I created the character. <laughs> no one ever no foresees one. such kind of wordplay. Yeah. Uh, there is a. Well, when like you it. pull the hook, a trap door opens in the ceiling of oh, this really? closet. We're going to go back to this side of the table. Okay. You're currently hand, hand, holding the... You didn't get to do anything. Did you want to do anything before we go back over? Um, no. I'm oh, just, you checked the window. And I you checked were, the yeah, window. Yeah. yeah, okay. So back over here. You are holding the hilt of what you believe is the sun sword. Can I just tell... Because it's just a hilt. How it can be used? Um, you don't get any sense from it. As you hold it, it's cold in your hand. It looks very old, um, but I will actually give you a description. One moment, please. While you're looking that what, up. What if it's just a broken blade? Uh, no, I guess I've got a bit of a... Look like an idiot. I have a bit of a rules question. Sanctuary is a bonus action spell. Can it be used with other actions that aren't attack actions or spell actions? So can I dodge and use it? Or can yes. I break free of the grapple and use it? Yes. Okay, good. Because I couldn't find it anywhere. I'm just like, can you do that? So I just know yeah, I put it's a bonus action spell. You still have an action to do whatever you want to do. Right. Yeah, it's not like spells where you can't use a. Uh, a, a you guys can't do anything that yeah. would break the Sounds the sanctuary have, rules. Okay, I don't okay, have the sanctuary rules. Uh, but I'll just read to you what the looks like. Um, it has a platinum hilt and guard. Um with really old, worn leather around its handle. Um, it definitely glistens, but it is old. Very, very, very old. Um, but when you hold it, you get a sense of something, but you think you probably need to attune to it mm. to get any sort of <laughs> essence from it. 
It won't save the day. We need one more day for it to be saving. Yeah. Am I to tune on a short rest? They're not able to use. I do. It, this, this will take time to, to discern. <laughs> we don't quite have that kind of time. Not that good. <laughs> can I just quickly stash it? Yeah. <clears throat> and... Four, five. I'll, I'll race over to here. Yeah. And I'm going to start swinging at. Well, you you use your action to grab the sword. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had said but just because so it was don't clutched. Don't come into combat then. It was clutched in, in the hand, so it would take a yeah. moment to kind of take it out and right, 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 right. and then pull it up. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll I'll go right up to where I am now. Okay. And I'll okay. Prepare to engage. Okay. Uh, you sure? Yeah. You yep. said we're out. Are we? We said we're out of initiative. He said, wait, no, I think we're still. No, you're still yeah. very much still. in initiative. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was so confused just now. I was like, why are we out? Okay. No. Okay. Uh, that was Dimitri. Esmeralda's up. Uh, well, we obviously have to get out of here. We can't be trapped, like, or you know, we're trapped if we're staying here. So, uh, Esmeralda's gonna make her way back out, and what? Once I make it out to the group, what do I see? What am I able to see? Uh, as you make it out. Taking sorry. my movement out. Yeah, so here, if we can see the map yeah, here. So there's Ryan. no way for her to get out without. Are you seeing the map? Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay, this is you, yep. Ez. This is me, Dimitri. I'm going to go to the right. So five, ten. Of the group? 20, 25, 30. No, You'll no, get an attack. You, yeah, no, you, behind Low Holt, right? Oh, the guy, okay, all right. Yeah, Low Holt sure. and Dimitri are in the way. You can pass through them into this corner here to engage this creature if you want to, or you can go this way to here, and there is there is another creature there. I will go, yeah, right where you put me there. Okay. There's a creature um, right So there is my there. movement. And so I'm going to, uh, let's see. If there's a way, <laughs> if there's a way to, am I far enough to where, like, if I, if I wanted to cast a spell that <laughs> had a certain diameter? Yeah. That would be really uh, difficult to do in here and not hit your own party. It, it's a meter, so it's we're not talking about a big space. It's three feet. Maybe to hit this area with these these two. Da like if you, no, no, no. You can center Just, me if you want. Let me, let me let me do it. Yeah. So the the person who I am standing next to. Yeah. Here. They're in a five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're in a five foot space, which is like a meter would be within the space that they're contained in. Yes. Diameter. Yes. Cool. Um, he's got to make a concentration save because I'm going to cast Dawn in a cylinder right above this dude. And it's just a, a five foot cylinder? It is five foot in diameter and it is 30 feet high. Okay, so it would just hit this creature and it's to the ceiling. Got it. Yes. Okay. Constitution save? Yep. Natural 20. Oh. <sighs> take half. Okay. Yes. Uh, so it is 4d10. There's vampire Ugh, can I, Why did I, I was just trying to see how much damage it was. I didn't want to roll digital dice and it screwed me. Um, but we can go with what it said. So digital dice said six points uh, on a 4d10. Oh, no. <laughs> and so it takes three points. I never roll digital dice and I accidentally So how many, how many so, points? Uh, <laughs> on a 4d10, I rolled a six. And so it takes three radiant damage. Okay. Mm. But the radiant damage you watch as it kind of bubbles its skin and it goes, ah, as it kind of starts to sizzle its face. Sizzle face. And it stays there. Okay. Is that your turn? Yes. Okay. You watch as the wounds on the vampires begin to close up slightly. And these are obviously spawn, you've, you've faced them before. Except for the one that just got hit by that radiant damage. 
Mm. Which was C. Yeah, the one that scrapbook. Yeah. But they all heal up a little bit. Um, the one that has you grappled, how many hit points do you have left? A, a lot. I'm uh, 69. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, so... That one that has grappled you is going to attempt to bite you Right, again. so just to let you know that yeah. I'm trying to keep them all within my attack, and they all need to make wisdom saves in order to even attempt to attack me. Because I'm under Sanctuary spell. Okay, but you're that, but, but getting them to try to attack you is just flavor. Well, yes, yes. Okay. So they can still choose where they are, but right. they, were all on, they right. were all converging on me before right. everyone else ran in. Sure. <laughs> and so, uh, sure. I, uh, anyway, anyone that tries to attack me must okay. succeed on a wisdom save. Okay, so A and B are going to try to attack you. So wisdom save of... That's going to fail. That's going to fail. So the first two can't attack anything else. Uh, I can do it again. Yeah. Uh, but the other one is going to attack you, Esmeralda, because you just heard it. That's the one that's grappling that. me? No. That's, uh, that's the one that's grappling me. Oh, that's right. So he'll have to make a wisdom save to bite me. Uh, no, but it's, try it's attacking Esmeralda, which it can do if it's grappling you. Okay. So, uh, it's so it's going to swing out and claw okay. at Esmeralda. Uh, with uh, one of its claws. And the ones that, if they failed against Loho, they can choose something else within immediate yeah. range, Thank or they you. lose the attack. Thank you. So yeah. that's an 18 yeah. to hit Esmeralda? I'm assuming you don't have your armor, so... Um, I don't, but I can cast shield as a reaction. Yay! Okay, so that, with a shield... But uh, don't you have a ten, an AC of 10, though, without armor? Oh, no, it's... Um, yeah, hold on. Do you have armor? I would assume. Oh, plus your dex, right? Mm -hmm. It's 10 okay, plus so your dex. Okay, so it's 18 with my armor. So it's 17 base armor plus dex. And then I had, like, a bonus thingy what? that you... Lightning beacon that you did. What's your dex uh, armor? There's no, there's no my, beacon anymore. So my dex is a plus 4. It's a 19. 14. Plus four, so it'd be fourteen. Uh, plus shield, that'd be enough. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So you're so with shield, you're at nineteen. Yes. Okay. Um, and there, uh, just as a note, the beacon went out. So anybody who has that beacon bonus, make sure you take it off your character because you, you shouldn't have that extra plus one to to, to that anymore. Gotcha. Um, uh, and it's going to try to uh, the one that's grappled you is going to try to. Uh, so those two, I forgot it was that one. Those two tried to attack you. They couldn't. So they can they make, failed their make movements to try and yeah. find another target if they want, or they can just continue to, to strike, uh, try, not, try to pin them in? I'll allow that to happen, uh, but I am going to get that one to try and attack you. Yeah. Okay, so wisdom, wisdom save. save. It's not going to be enough. Uh, seven plus... No, it's not going to be enough. Uh, Which one's ten attacking? Is not enough. All three of them are attacking me. Don't worry, I, oh, yeah. Lohold is saying, get out. Well, if this one's attacking, then I can attack it as a reaction using the sentinel feet. Nice. But it can't even do that because it did a wisdom save. Yes, it, it can't even attack, so it can't attack, attack. Yet. Uh Oh. Um, okay, so it can't even, so it doesn't do the attack. No, it is. So that's why it could, it so could it's gonna someone else. So it's going to try and attack you with the second attack. Um, Dimitri, that is a um, 18 to hit. It never uses me first. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, all right. it'll miss. Okay, then that's it. That's it for their attacks. Um, you watch this female, you, you're still watching this female yep. character, and it kind of stops right here. Yeah. And it's just hanging upside down, its hair is kind of hanging down, and it's just standing there, and it kind of is like watching the party. Um, I need a blanket now, too. Oh, Jay. Yeah? That creature that hit, that attacked me was the same one that was in the... Yeah. The, so if it starts its turn in it, it has to make another con save. Fails. Okay. And it takes extra uh, damage, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Let me roll that. Uh, and it's not letting go. Like it's. Oh yeah. It's sizzling. So what you're seeing is I'm just holding my sword up, like like Qui Gon style, yeah. just like meditating a little bit, yeah. and just kind of weaving, and I'm look I'm locked onto this girl while this is happening. So it takes 29 points of radiant damage. Oh. Mm -hmm. As it sizzled. Tasty bacon. And you can smell that burnt flesh. 
That's his face. <laughs> CP. <laughs> um, yeah. Fresh flesh. <laughs> At which point... The portcullis shuts again. And that's where we're going to end that episode oh, for tonight. Man. Good night, Noggins. <sighs> Thank you, everyone, for watching. I appreciate I'm you all enjoying our episode, I'm sure. That was intense, y'all. That was really cool. You now have the sword. Thanks again to uh, Mr. Jerdak for uh, prepping the 3D files for me to print. Um, we got them online from th th I think nothing Everse. Um, what's that um, STL share? Uh, the, whatever it is. Is it Thingiverse? Yeah. I think that's the one. Yeah. Thingiverse is where I got it. Uh, really cool. You can just, if you Google uh, Sun Sword, you'll get it. And then I printed it at home in resin and then I painted it. So, that's so uh, cool. Super cool. So fun. So fun. We'll take some Pretty pictures good, of it. And Pretty then good. Sharp. Sharp. It's okay. It is sharp. And, and probably if you drop it, it'll shatter. Yeah. <laughs> it's resin. <laughs> So anyways, but thank you everyone for watching again. If you liked what you saw, consider subscribing and sharing. Make sure that you comment and give us the thumbs up because uh, that helps the algorithm let people know where yeah. we are and all that stuff. So that's really important. Um, we will get in contact with the winner of the giveaway from Stat Trackers. Thanks to all our sponsors, of course. Take care of each other, love each other, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.